I need to create a fillet around the entire edge. To do that, I'll click Fill It again, and I'm not happy with the face that I selected, so I'll right-click and clear selections. Inside of this box, I'm going to select the front face. For a radius value, enter 5 and click OK. Does your picture match the online tutorial? Check your steps and repeat if necessary. Click Next. One more fillet to add. Select Fillet from the Feature Toolbar. Select the front face of the circular edge. Enter 2 for Fillet Radius. Click OK. I'm happy with the result. I'll return to an isometric view and click Save. Click Next from the tutorial and let's use the shell feature. I'll rotate to see the back of my part or I can select the back view. Click the back face, click Shell. Shell scoops out the inside of the part. Enter 2 for thickness. And click OK from the Shell Feature Manager. I'm happy with the result and I'll click Next. So let's modify some dimensions. Double click on the Extrude Base feature in the graphics window or you can double click in the feature manager design tree. Double click on the dimension 30. I can tell feature dimensions because they are displayed in blue. Sketch dimensions are displayed in black. Enter 50 and click rebuild. Now click OK. Click save. Click next. Click anywhere in the graphics window to remove the dimensions. Next, I want to create a section view. Click Trimetric, Shade it. I'm going to select on Section View, and I want to display the right plane. Notice how the three default reference planes are displayed at the top. Select on Right, and enter an offset distance with the spin box till 60. Click OK from the section view. Click Next from my tutorial. And to display a full view, just click the section view again. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson. Click Save.